Attention, Salute, Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Current members of Mu Alpha Theta must stop by D. Bird's Room 210A by Friday to update information for our math tutoring list. Softball tryouts for grades 9 through 12 will be held next week. Any young ladies interested in participating must get a permission slip from the front office, fill it out, and return it to Coach Adam Johnson no later than August 19th. You must have a current physical to participate in tryouts. The main office has Smith Station shirts for sale for $15. Stop by today to get yours. Yearbooks are on sale now for $60 until September 9th. To order, go to www.jostensyearbooks.com. This is the lowest price of the year. According to Lee County Board of Education Policy, no outside fast food or carbonated beverages are allowed in the cafeteria in their original containers before school or during lunch. Please adhere to this policy. Any senior who did not get their portraits made this summer need to see Mrs. Lee during fourth period to schedule a time to have theirs made on the makeup days, which will be Wednesday through Friday. The volleyball teams at Smith Station High School and Auburn High School have teamed up to raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Research Hospital in honor for Molly Paysinger. Molly is the granddaughter of Smith Station Athletic Director Sherry Paysinger. Molly was diagnosed with leukemia in July of 2014 at the age of two years old. She is still undergoing treatments to fight this disease. Molly is very passionate about raising money for St. Jude. We would like to be able to send donations to St. Jude via Molly on her next visit. Please help us by buying a volleyball t-shirt for Molly. Both teams will be selling volleyball t-shirts for Molly until August 31st. The teams will wear these shirts at their game on September 21st at Smith Station High School. The SSHS Athletics Department is currently offering student athletic passes. These passes are $50 and will get you into any SSHS home game in any sport this season. Passes will be on sale in the cafeteria each day for the first two weeks of school. Sophomore officer applications are available to be picked up in Mrs. Hatney, Ms. Homburgers, or Ms. Knott's rooms. They are due on August 26th. There is a new honor society that has been chartered on campus called Rho Kappa. It is a social studies honor society. If you qualify according to the guidelines on the screen, please see your social studies teacher to get you an application. If you would like to be a special education student aide, please see Ms. McNeil about signing up. She is located in room 126B. Here is a message from the SSHS yearbook staff. Students, be sure to download and join Smith Station High School Replay It app. We want to see your pictures from summer, first day of school, and all throughout the year. Be sure to tag yourself in them. Today for lunch, you can have nachos or a beef and bean burrito with an option of a grilled chicken salad bar. Sides for today is Mexican beans, corn, and pineapple. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to the following students. If you drive to school every day, you know how big of a mess the parking lot is every day. Here are do's and don'ts. The Smith Station High School student parking lot. Wow, what a jungle. In this story, we have put together some do's and don'ts to hopefully help you arrive and depart safely each day. Number one, let's talk about how to successfully get into that parking space. This right here, my friends, is how you do it. Great job, Ford Focus. Keep up the good work. Hey, Mr. Red Ford truck driver, this is unacceptable. Don't you know we have like 2,000 students that need to park in here? Get in one space and stay there. Number two, you are not allowed to save parking spaces. If your friend is late, just make them park in the back. We don't care what you are doing to save this spot. Keep in mind there will be someone that won't mind pushing you out of the way. Number three, PDA. Wow, do we even need to discuss this? PDA doesn't just get you into trouble in the school. We don't want to see it in the parking lot either. Keep your hands off of each other. Get in your car and go home. Number four, don't walk in front of cars. There are cones out in the crosswalk for a reason. Use them. Keep in mind that when everyone is leaving in the afternoon, they are not thinking about you walking to your car. They are usually thinking about getting to work or cruising to their next adventure. Don't become a parking lot casualty. If you can't abide by these four tips, just remember he's always watching.
hope these four driving tips help you achieve better driving skills. All right, Smith Station, let's see you do a great job this afternoon. Now back to you in the studio. We interviewed seniors about their expectations for this school year, and here's what they had to say. We got a chance to talk to a few seniors about what their expectations are for their senior year. Here's what they had to say. Um, for senior year, my expectations are to like, make a difference in the school and to be able to um, do all the fun events and stuff that they put together for us. My expectations for senior year are I plan to graduate, stay at the top of the class, stay near the top of the class, and go to college to pursue my career. I plan to keep the jungle rocking this year and hope we win every game. Well, I want our senior class to be remembered. I want us to come together, have fun, and just graduate. I know a lot of us have senioritis right now, especially me. So I just want us to get through that so we can graduate and move on with our lives. Well, my expectation for this school year is that we as seniors have the best year that we've ever had in school. This being that it is our last year of high school, we need to make sure that it's our best year and that we have memories leaving Smith Station. And we need to make sure that as a class, we leave our mark. We want to make sure that every class that follows us knows that class of 2017 was, that was the class. And that's my goal for the senior class as a whole. Um, my expectations for my senior year would definitely be to have fun and just make memories with my classmates so I can look back on my senior year in high school and not regret anything and just know that I had fun and I did everything I would want to do and I don't want to have any regrets and I'm also looking forward to getting accepted into college so and I want to keep good grades and I want to do everything I can to enjoy my last year in high school. I'm excited about my senior year. I get to do PNN and yearbook, so I get to spend my day with both Mr. Lee and Miss Lee. I'm in theater, so I also get to be a part of our 10th year here as an acting company, which is very exciting. And I'm a little sad about it being my senior year because I've been here since kindergarten, but I'm also very excited to be able to be a senior and um, spend my last year here as a Sensation Panther. This has been Kendall Harris, back to you in the studio. We have a new administrator on campus this year. Here's a little more about Mr. Lewis. This week we've been interviewing teachers and today we decided to interview Mr. Lewis. So here's what he had to say. This is Mr. Lewis's second year in administration. I am from Coosa County, Rockford, Alabama. I served as assistant principal at Central Middle School. He is most excited for success and student achievement. Here are some of his expectations from the students. I expect the students to arrive to school on time and to give their best in class and to learn all they can. This is a great opportunity for them to gain a lot of information that they will use throughout their lives. Now back to the studio to Kinsley. 